Now, more than one in every three digital service consumers started using digital services due to COVID-19. 94% of new users will continue their habits post-pandemic. Our unit is mandated to build the Smart State, Smart Selangor Smart State program by 2025. So in doing so, it's looking at delivering new digital services, better um, citizen experience in accessing government digital services. So most of the time, these services are being delivered and being developed by vendors externally. That has shifted in the Selangor State Government. I think our entity is, is mandated to look at even from the UI side down until the analytics to make sure these things get continued and gets used frequently by, by uh, citizens. What are the shifting trends that you notice in consumer psychology and buying behaviour? Actually, we have managed to onboard almost, uh, you can say that almost 300,000 uh, merchants. All of them, uh, around 80,000 of them are new merchants, totally new merchants who never sell online, then they started to sell online. So the sales uh, result actually increased by twofold or threefold. Then of course the seller, uh, the merchants wanted to increase their business, they want to know how to do digital marketing. Uh, they want to have, a, instead of marketplace, they want to have their own uh, website, a full fledged website with uh, payment gateway and stuff like that. Of course, that uh, we started the second campaign, which is the SME uh, digitalization matching grant, 5 million matching grant. Out of the 1,005 uh, SME who apply, actually uh, 1,048 uh, were approved. Um, so they started to focus on five areas for well, the uh, payment gateway, uh, e uh, cloud counting, uh, HR payroll, uh, CRM and also in including e-commerce digital marketing as well. The success of these two campaigns actually showed that uh, uh, people actually at, at the semi-rural or rural area actually wanted to embrace the technology. So it is the opportunity that we uh, managed to talk to them, convince them and then assist them to actually adopt the technology, I think that that's important. So outlining efforts and innovation in the mobile app management lifecycle and the framework for a competitive app to attain and retain the end user, how important is it? We have built um, something called citizen e-payment. So in that in that in that application, we have paid government services. We've got listing of SMEs in the future, and we've got payment functionalities ranging from online to e-wallets and that sort. So I think. Citizens don't want to load, you know, download another app, so they just, they just want one and, and that, that's it, right? There requires to be this continuous engagement between private sector and government. And I think our role is to become that enabler and provide the right sorts of infrastructure. So data sharing, so requirements from private sectors become known to the government very quickly and we can work to assist and facilitate you. So I think that's the, the shifting trends that's happening and I think the critical infrastructure that we're building at the moment.